Hey guys, welcome to another one of my DocuWare tutorial videos. One of the biggest, biggest, biggest things we get asked is can DocuWare automatically store invoices? Now there is intelligent indexing. You all know and love intelligent indexing. We use it so much in every build that we do. But the biggest bugbear of intelligent indexing is green documents do not automatically store away. Guess what? Now they do. How do we do that? We use make.com and a super, super, super simple scheduled workflow. Let's dive in. As you can see in my document tray, I have three invoices that are red, two that are green. I don't want to touch these green invoices. I want DocuWare to store these away without me having to do anything about it. To set it up, I go into make.com, new scenario, click plus, look for the DocuWare option, scroll down to search for documents. Connect it to my company. And then I get the options available to me here. There are a couple of options you can use. There is select or map. What I found with select is DocuWare can be a little bit fussy on whether it shows you the search dialog ID here. So you can see there that doesn't work. To get that to work and to get around that issue, if you change it to map, DocuWare is automatically going to leave the file cabinet or the document tray ID there from that previous select. Um, so it does make it a little bit handier, actually, to be fair. If I now go to my DocuWare system, go to my configurations, find the filing cabinet that is mapped to this document tray. So the in invoice store is from the accounts filing cabinet. If I go to the accounts filing cabinet, dialogues, search dialog, take the default search dialog for that cabinet, scroll to the bottom, more options, I get presented with the search dialog ID. If I copy that search dialog ID, take it back to my make configuration, and paste it into the search dialog ID section. Now I've got the search configured properly. If I now click run once, it's going to run the scenario once, it's going to search for the documents in the document tray, and if I look at the output, you can see I have five bundles for the five documents that exist in that document tray. Next, I want to click add another module. I want to choose DocuWare again. I want to scroll down to transfer a document. I want to here choose the source file cabinet or document tray ID and choose my test tray. Under select or map, I want to choose select. I then want to pick my target file cabinet. I want to pick my intelligent indexing store dialog, so the invoice store. Under here, under use intelligent indexing data for empty index fields, tick yes. Under transfer document ID, click add item and choose document ID from the options that appear from the search options there. Click OK. What we need to do now is configure the filter so the system just transfers across the documents that are green. To do that, it's really simple. Click on this wrench and click set up a filter. Give it a name, it can be whatever you want, so green IntelliX, 
the condition is going to be get open brackets map open brackets click on index fields semicolon item semicolon field name semicolon the field name that we need to use is DW Intellix Trust close brackets semicolon one close brackets bit of a mouthful again I'll leave it on the screen there you can see it if you want to copy it out I will also add it into the description below the video what we want to do now is say the text operator is equal to the number five. Five is green, basically. Four is yellow, three is red, um, in case you wonder what the differences were. So again, if you wanted to do something with red documents, you could. If you want to do something with uh, yellow documents, you could. Um, but yeah, we're going to choose your green ones here. Click OK. That's the entire configuration set up. Under the schedule, we can obviously change this to different intervals that we want to run it as. Um, so if you want to set it to one minute intervals, you can. One minute is the lowest amount of intervals you can run it as. To run it as one on one minute intervals, you have to have a paid for configuration. 15 minutes is the, um, the most frequent for a free Make account. If you are looking at signing up with Make, um, just below I've got a link. If you click on that link, that will take you straight to the sign up page. Um, and you can follow all the, the um, prompts there to, to do the sign up. So if I click OK, if I now save my configuration, if I split screen my, my two screens just so we can see both at the same time, if I click run once, see that run through, we'll see document then transfer one document, transfer the second document, and as you can see, they have instantly disappeared from my document tray. If I look in the filing cabinet, search for everything stored today, you'll see my documents have been stored away. There we have it. Really, really simple guide, really simple to follow on how to use make.com for intelligent indexing auto store. Thanks for watching.